Ghost was very important for Rolls Royce motor cars. Ghost, I would even say, was the most successful car in Rolls Royce's entire history over its 10 years life cycle. And Ghost brought a whole new demographic to the brand. And very important to mention, it generated profitability. Profitability that allowed us here at Rolls Royce Motor Cars to invest into expansion and also into new models. And Ghost taught us as well a great deal about how our clients view and also react with our brand. And on top comes that Ghost internationalized the brand further, opening up many new markets we haven't been in before. So new Ghost is just that, all new. We only kept umbrellas and the spirit of ecstasy. And of course, the new Ghost encapsulates a completely updated technology suite, which is four-wheel steering, four-wheel drive, effortless doors, which means power assisted not only for closing, but also now for opening. It has the world first planner suspension system, laser headlights, of course, an illuminated fascia and many, many other fine details. But important to mention, the much loved restrained simplicity of the car is retained and even increased due to what we call post opulent demands from our ghost clients. And we call this a minimalist design ethic. The typical owner of the new ghost is a young entrepreneur, man and woman, of course, founders and CEOs. And Ghost truly is a global product in demand by wealthy customers internationally. I would describe it as a car for those people to drive and when required, of course, to be driven in. The design brief for Ghost came to the studio with hundreds of pages of our customers' insights. We kind of refined and distilled it down to this concept of what is post-opulence. And what do I mean? It's about refinement, about reduction, about simplicity. It's about something that doesn't shout at you, but it whispers. We were pursuing this minimalist aesthetic that was our absolute objective. I'd say the front of Ghost really demonstrates our obsession with reducing any overt design. There's no additional flourishes. It's very reduced, but it keeps that charm that makes a Rolls Royce. It's in no way sterile. Our aluminium body structures the hand welders, which means you don't read any additional shut lines. Every car individually is finished symmetrically. That's what gives you this, this feeling of one canvas, one monolithic sculpture from front to rear. There's more possibilities here for bespoke personalization than ever before. The character of Ghost comes out, it still has the, the natural presence you'd expect of a Rolls Royce, but it's, it's calmly confident. Part of this presence and assertiveness comes through the proportion. We've widened Ghost and you, you read this immediately because it's framed by these sharp vertical bow lines which meet this angular light graphic, so it's completely framing the face. We wanted Ghost to have this unique ambience because there's not lots of features, but it should have that character, that spirit should come through. We discovered we could achieve that with light. So actually behind the veins of the grille is a subtle illumination. We actually fine tuned the shapes and even brushed the back of every vein. And you just get this subtle glow. It removed any sense of anything ever being sterile. It should always have this, this warmth of a Rolls Royce, this gentle glow. We want to give you that subtle message that this is a car to be driven and a car to be driven in. There's no heavy focus on the rear door or the front door. If you, if you look at them, they're, they're almost equal. We're letting you know almost subconsciously when you walk up to the car that whether you sit in the front or the back of the ghost, you're going to have that, that great Rolls Royce experience. The rear of ghost, it continues this yachting analogy. It's, it's resolved in a a taper from all sides, and this is how we create that, that sense of motion. The focus point is the Rolls-Royce rear lamp. This simple red square ring has become a tenor of modern Rolls-Royce design. But here we've modernized it. It's actually leant forwards a little bit. It's, it's more three-dimensional than ever before. 
The ghost interior is meant to be a detoxifying space. We realize our customers have very complicated lives, so they're not looking for a constant reminder of their success. They're not looking for busy details. They want a, a thinking space. We found trying to do this actually makes it incredibly complicated, but for our craftspeople, the challenge is even greater. There's no distraction, there's no complicated patterns in which to hide any error, so a single stitch line must be perfect. The wood, for example, that you touch, it's not hidden under lacquer, it's open pore, so you can, you can feel the veneer through it. And don't be fooled of what might be underneath there. This has got more technology in it than any other Rolls Royce we've ever built. But it's only there when you demand it. The, the dashboard, for instance, the illuminated fascia, it's only there when requested. The effortless doors, there's not an additional button, it's the door handle. Everything is there to make it as calming and relaxing and uncomplicated as possible. Henry Royce said that small things make perfection, but that perfection is no small thing. And we discovered that really holds true today. This philosophy of post-opulence, this philosophy of refining to every detail is what should make it timeless. The brief we were given for the dynamic character of New Ghost was perfection in simplicity. But actually we knew that fulfilling that brief, to create that perfection, to create that simplicity from the customer view, was actually going to be incredibly complex. Regardless of the climate, the road conditions, whether you're driving or being chauffeured, it had to feel just right. Our challenge with Ghost was to distill the dynamic highlights from the complete portfolio of motor cars into one single product. This wouldn't have been possible without our Rolls-Royce space frame architecture. This is completely configurable, which allows us to set up the vehicle to deliver the exact result our client would expect on the road. So we're not asking a platform to do something it was never designed to do. We're looking at the trademark Rolls-Royce characteristics. So the effortless magic carpet ride, the dynamic sense of one endless gear, and new for Ghost, the reassuring all-wheel drive system. We created with our front suspension a world first. We introduced a new system which in simple terms dampens the dampers to remove as much energy transfer as we can from the road into the body of the vehicle, creating for the customer that sense that the road has almost been plain smooth in front of you. You experience the sensation of flight on land over all tarmac surfaces, wet or dry. In terms of the dynamic properties of New Ghost, we also responded directly to client feedback. Not only did they want to use their Ghost in more places, but they also wanted to spend more time behind the wheel to really experience our 571 PS twin turbo V12. Ghost benefits from our flag bearer system that proactively brings together a camera coupled together with sensors in the suspension assembly which scan the road ahead and make millions of calculations per second to actively adjust the suspension for the conditions that the client hasn't even yet experienced. Even our gearbox is linked to the car's global positioning system, scanning the road ahead to select the perfect gear for the corner we're about to encounter. Ghost had to feel nimble in the city as well as out on the open road. We decided the best way to achieve that was all-wheel steering. At low speeds, the rear axle turns in the opposite direction to the front wheels, creating a very tight turning circle. You don't have to worry about the vehicle's size. At higher speeds, the rear wheels turn with the front wheels to give you stability during higher speed lane changes really a car that whispers, it doesn't shout. And we took that very literally when it came to the acoustics. We found that removing all noise can actually be quite disorientating and uncomfortable. We've invested a great deal of time and an obsessive level of attention to detail in creating one uniform tone inside the cabin. The seat frames, for example, resonated with a different frequency to the body. So we introduced damping units within the seats to bring them together into one single note. 
the large boot produced a frequency that you could just notice at the motorway speeds. So we introduced a set of invisible ports within the parcel shell to harmonize those frequencies. Even the drive shafts have been created so that any noise they make does not intrude in the meticulously tuned cabin. When we describe what we've done to bring our client to New Ghost, we've been described as obsessives. We prefer perfectionists. 